What is up, guys? It's Kyle here with Never Hedge, and I'm going to be doing a fighter profile for you this week. Wanted to start this new segment off uh, with the big UFC card, UFC 263. Uh, two title fights, uh, three five-round fights, which is different. Um, and I wanted to start off by going over Jamal Hill. Uh, Jamal Hill has been a great UFC prospect so far. He is 30 years old, so not the youngest prospect. But he's still learning. He's still new to the sport. He's still improving every week. He's 6'4", 205 pounds. He's a big guy for the division. He's very athletic. He hits very hard. Um, the sky's the limit for this kid. He literally has the frame to be a champion at the 205-pound weight division. He's fighting Paul Craig this week, and there has been some bad blood. Um, he fights at a Black Lion Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, United States. His last fight was against Ovens St. Preux, and I we were not on that side. We definitely had Ovens in that fight, and uh, Jamal Hill proved me wrong. He TKO'd Ovens in the second round. Before that, he also TKO'd Clitson Abreu. It got overturned because of marijuana. Um, that's something that won't be happening going forward, even if he tests positive. Um, so that's a positive for um, Jamal Hill because when we look at his Instagram later on, I'm pretty sure he's still smoking weed. Uh, before that, he beat Darko Stosic, and he beat him by decision, and it was a pretty boring decision for his first fight in the UFC. But Darko is no joke. He's fighting at heavyweight now. He's a big guy. And first fight in the UFC, I mean – to keep the hype train going as an undefeated guy and beat uh, Darko Stosic, it's a pretty big deal. Um, like I said, I like to stalk all my fighters that I want to bet on before fights. So we go over to his Twitter, and it basically is all about Paul Craig right now. They've been having some serious bad blood on, on the internet and in person. Um, they had to get separated on the most recent uh, UFC embedded. Jamal Hill and Paul Craig had to be separated by security. Uh, here's a tweet, don't play with me, and uh, it's personal. So he's taking this very personally, as you can see, and I think he's going to try to get Paul Craig out of there round one. The only um, path to victory for Paul Craig is going to be Paul Craig by submission, and Jamal Hill has to know that. Um, so I think he'll be prepared for that. I don't think he's going to get surprised by submission attempts. <laughs> Here's Jamal Hill doing some water work. I made the joke, tweeted it at him. Uh, What's dead may never die. Brandon underwater, drowned God. Let's go. But Jamal Hill, he's very impressive, 8-0, young kid. Uh, sky's the limit. If you look at the betting odds, betting odds for this fight, he is minus uh, 280 at this point. He's getting bet on. Money's coming in on him. But the prop I like the most is Jamal Hill by TKO is minus 125. That's not really enough juice. But Jamal Hill round one is plus 235. So if you lock that in now, Jamal Hill, round one, plus 235, lock it up, win some money. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe.